Okay. <laughs> this is so incredible. Greetings, fellow makers. Welcome down to my shop to a special episode. We've got a guest today. This is Brittany from Blonder.com. Welcome down to the shop. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. This is a really cool project because we were talking your local and I was like, hey, us YouTube people should make a thing. Yeah, I'm surprised we haven't already. That's this right. Is, this is great. So what are we making today? We are making, I call it the Deku Shield. I heard okay. you pronounce it as the Deku. I have no idea. Okay. I, I, uh, it's kind of like an ocarina, ocarina thing. Yeah, and I'm coming clean right now. I watched someone play Ocarina of Time, but I didn't actually play it myself. I didn't have a Nintendo 64. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I, I'm just kidding. I can't hate But I, I did can't experience hate. it mm -hmm. uh, completely by watching uh, my neighbor play. Hey, you know what? That's better than some other people, so I good for you. All right. Hmm. So what we're going to do, uh, you guys know, of course, we're going to make it out of foam. We went to Harbor Freight yesterday and bought floor mats. I legit thought we were going to make this out of wood. That's... That tells you how much I know about the whole prop making process. And we could make it out of wood. Uh, yeah. But we're going to make it out of okay. foam. <laughs> it's probably easier. <laughs> So this is, you'll notice too, how you, all the paint and stuff was over there. Okay. But I've kept all the sharp bits over here. Thank you. That so was very wise. I figured we'd, we'd gate that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. All right. So we do a lot of our stuff out of EDA foam. Okay. And that's what these floor mats are made out of. Uh, same thing with this stuff from the craft store. Okay. I know nothing about prop making. Just right. a heads we'll, up. So we'll, well, this is good. This, this is, is one perfect. Line. We'll explain it thoroughly. So is that actually made for standing on? Yep. Oh, okay. I thought look, I saw that. I even have some right there that I stand on. But you can see oh, yeah. I, I cut the corner off of that because I needed to make a piece of armor out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you did. That's awesome. All right. Okay. So this is our floor mat. Okay. And I drew our blueprint. Yes, you did. A while ago. And in fact, I did a video on that. Mm. We'll link to that in the description. Mm. So Ooh. this is Ooh. roughly the, the size. So if you hold your arm up like the shield, like that, that's roughly. The size. Yeah, yeah, everything. that's that's awesome. Um, now is Link, is Link left or right-handed? This <sighs> was this was a debate that. I'm, I might up. get this wrong. Link, I believe, is left-handed in all of the games except for Twilight Princess, or okay. is it Skyward Sword? One or the other. He's majority one, but you know. Okay. I'm just tracing the outside. So I'll go ahead and finish that. <laughs> I'll hold this and have another sip of coffee. Okay. Oh, you know, I, I barely passed kindergarten, so we'll see. How my tracing skills hold up. <laughs> All right, so that's done, uh, but we do need two layers of it. Okay. So uh, we'll trace another piece of foam. And these have a texture on either side. Okay. So we want to use the text, the non textured side. So I'm going to flip this over for the back. Okay. If oh, that smart. Makes any sense at all? No, it, it does. All right. That does make sense. All right, so that's the back. This is the front. Uh, and I do also want to trace out this shape. Oh, okay. But I wanted to wait until um, we had done the outside because it's going to get a little flimsy. Okay. Next time we'll do a helium shield. Yeah, well, yeah. you know what? That would be a really good thing to do on the TNC router. It's all the little shapes and grooves and bumps. Yeah. Well, well, this is this is a uh, we were trying to figure out what we wanted to make, and this seemed like an appropriate beginner level. Sort oh of yeah, thing. you gotta but work your way up. Next time we'll work our way you up. You gotta work your way up, like All in right. the game. Very good. Yay! Cool. cool. So this, I think, we have to pin down. We'll do it at an angle. If you do it like that, oh. I'll hold it down really nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. So let's just go around the perimeter here, right. pin it down a little bit better, and then we can go our design on. All right, I'll grab that sharpie. All right. Trace it out. No, hey. another sip of coffee. <laughs> you like this a little too much, Bill. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> I think this is the reason why you wanted me to come over, so you can just drink coffee all day. Yeah. So now we're going to rough cut this out, because uh, we're going to glue these two things together. Okay. And if we just, just rough cut them, and then glue them together, when we cut the two pieces together, mm -hmm. it'll be a nice clean edge. Okay. All right. That's cool. So I'll show you. Uh, we don't have to be really pretty about this. We're just removing most of the material. Cool. No, you use the sharp objects all you want. Uh, yep. Turn oh. the blade over though. Oh, to see, the sharp I told side. you. I told. Oh god, it's on my finger. Oh. 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 Okay. There you go. That's good. Okay. So it didn't quite go all the way through. <laughs> that's fine. So we'll just do it again. Okay. There you go. Oh. Okay. Now you make it. Okay. 
There you go. Ah, yeah, I put some muscle into it, I think. Did I do it that time? Yep. Yay! Okay. Very cool. Here, I'll, I'll just finish it up for you. Yeah. It does seem like this blade is a little bit dull still. So I'm gonna <laughs> grab my WD-40, give it a, a spritz, huh. and sharpen it up again. It makes a huge difference as far as like, like when we're doing the final cuts on the mm -hmm. edges that are supposed to look pretty, uh -huh. having a really sharp blade will make a world of difference. Wow. So there's Yay, one Yay, it's done! I'm ready to defeat done. Goma! And the end of the video. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you for watching, guys. Nope, we have to cut out the other side, oh. and I mirrored it. What we need to do now, though, is to sand, or to glue these together, they need to be sanded a little bit, because this texture doesn't like the glue. Okay. So we're going to use the bigger power tools over there. All right. <laughs> going to be awesome. Ah, see the color drain from my face. Yeah, but I'll show you. We got safety equipment. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> yes. All right, cool. So we'll go over there. Okay. <laughs> What we have here, shield all sanded. I nice didn't tear off my fingerprints. The edges all sanded for gluing together. But before we do that, we want to cut this out because the okay. shape's only on one side. Okay. As far as I know, I don't actually know what the back looks like. It's not on the back. But I'll show you roughly how we're going to do this Please. with a nice sharp knife. Cut like that. And then you can even go through it like this to make sure that it's cut. It's all Has there ever been a blood on your channel before? Uh, that's probably going to change. No. <laughs> I had to think about it, though. <laughs> it was a long-standing joke with my family and I that I'm not allowed near sharp objects. Oh. Wow. I'm a little careless around them, so. Uh, I feel like this should have been talked about before we do this. You know, I like to keep things exciting and fresh. <laughs> so why don't you give it a go? I'll, again, I'll make sure this is sharp, and you can cut from there to there. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you keep the blade on the, the um, mat and okay. then pull through, uh -huh. It'll be a nice clean cut all the way through. Okay. If you don't and it just goes a little bit like that, and it doesn't cut all the way through. Okay, so mat or thing goes all the way to the mat. Yep. And then what's the point? And you can even uh, here let me just yeah. show you. The flatter this is, the, the easier it will be. Okay. Compare so bad? Good. Okay, got it. You got it. This is good. This, all right. this is the good. The band-aids are right there. So we're good. Oh. oh wow, I'm actually oh, well, that's not very good. So when keep I screw it, okay. Just keep going. <laughs> Fix it later. I told you I can't follow the lines. It's really tough. This is uh, this is an artistic interpretation <laughs> of the. Uh, You're the, too the, kind. The Deku shield. You're too kind. Oh god. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Look. Okay. Went all the way through. Yay. So you can just. How did I do, senpai? <laughs> great. Thank you. <laughs> oh gosh. Like that, and then sort of uh, push the blade straight through and cut it to the cut it to the corner. Actually, that makes sense. It, it does. I just, you know. Okay, cut it to the corner. Here, I'll show you what yeah, I mean. Show me. <laughs> so when you're cutting through a piece uh -huh. like this, the blade and that cut is at an angle, right. like that. And if you push it all the way through, you can make it a 90 degree cut. So that if you were to cut through it like that, mm. it's a nice 90 degrees versus one that looks like like that. That. Okay. So when you're finishing this cut, you okay. can go. Like this and just sneak it into the corner like that. Like how do you know if your blade is too dull? You can feel the resistance. Okay. So it's just more of a it makes it easier on you. I think we got all the way. Yeah it does. You know and when you that's the thing with a dull blade is you mm -hmm. push harder and uh, you're more likely to then jab it into yourself. Got it. Most of the shop injuries I see from my friends. Go ahead, look at this. Ta da Yay! Most of the shop injuries I see from friends are with a chisel, and they're just pushing something, and then they go, God, this oh. jab a chisel under their thumb, and then there's blood. Oh. Yeah, there's okay. A... Yay! Ta-da! This is awesome! So, uh, we just need to cut out a little bit of this. I'm here. We'll just cut out uh, a shape bigger than this real fast, and we'll use that. Oh, I see. Okay. Like that. Meh. Be gone with you. We don't need that anymore. Like that. That should work. Yeah, no, that makes so much sense. It's just amazing. Cause like the finished products would look amazing, but you don't know all these little like hacks that yeah. I'm gonna oh. like that. Cool. Okay. Alright. 
So um, we're going to use uh, contact cement, and it's kind of toxic. So there's a respirator right there. <laughs> OK, cool. Uh, I have my own. So this is a contact cement, and I'm going to trace the inside of this so we know where to, to put it. Okay. So we're just going to go that everywhere. You can have it wearing your respirator. The camera. And also, I should put my respirator Yeah, there we go. Like that. Awesome. So you're gonna just do that all around here, okay. just kind of in a circle with the with the thing. All right. And I'll let this dry. Okay. You don't lose any points for messiness. I can't mess this up. There's <laughs> one thing I can't mess up. It's this. Just watch, just watch me work. Yes, yeah. work, my slave. <laughs> I know you should hire. I should be your assistant. So we're just gonna wait for like. Oh, we're gonna wait for like five minutes. Five minutes later. We're going to glue these things down, and we, we want to kind of line it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but okay. we just do that, and just do that. Because it's going to be painted anyway, right? Thing. Yeah, it'll all get painted. Okay. We just don't want there to be any gaps or anything. But the contact cement, you'll see how it works, is once it touches down, That's it. it's stuck there. All right, no going back. Just like that. All right. Piece of cake. Dun, Good. Dun, dun. Great job. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I, I'm watching you. I'm actually the expert here, and I'm just monitoring you. Like that. So now we can glue these together. Okay. Like that to make the full shield. We'll, we'll bend it a little bit. We'll use these big guys, and we can just pour a bunch in the middle. Like that. Oh, sweet. So and what are we? The whole thing, or just this all, way, all the way to the end? Got it. All the way around. All right. Like that. Is it paint by numbers? It's, you know what? It's a lot, of, it's wood, so it's a lot of brown. <laughs> not, not that sophisticated of a paint job. So like, one for brown, two for slightly more brown. Some tints of red, perhaps. Yeah. I'll just give yours a good one, once over to make sure that we're looking good. That looks good. Yay! Awesome! Yay! These can be thrown out, because they're just covered they're in glue. They're done. Meh. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna time lapse five minutes. Good to go. All right. Cut to five minutes later, and these are ready to stick together. Yay! So here's the, the trick to this. I want there to be a little bit of a, a bend to it. Okay. Like like a uh, like a curve sure. as a, a shield is want to do. Mm -hmm. So when we stick this together, uh, I'm gonna line it up pretty close, but I'm gonna go from the middle out and kind of bend it as it sticks together. Because once these two surfaces touch, they're gonna be. Okay. Uh, stuck like that. Okay. Basically forever. So I'm just gonna kind of, oops, move the whole table. <laughs> Careful. And like that's stuck now forever. Yeah, yeah. For good. <laughs> and then if you want to keep it from sticking together like there, mm -hmm. you can just throw something in the way, and I'll work on the other oh. side like this. Okay. So I'll I'll keep that curved, and touch those edges together like that. Oh. Makes sense. It makes so much sense. Yeah. And then we can just go around the other side. And you you just pull, peel that up like that. And we'll just do the teamwork. Like Yay! That. Just got the I helped. To it. No, that's really cool. Okay. So now all you have to do is go around the edge and just really Make sure mash all. it all together. That's awesome. Just squeeze it. Squeeze it. Because we're going to cut that out when we want there to be as little bit of a seam as possible. Got it. Yeah. Am I doing good? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard to screw this up, but you know. There is our rounded off shield thing. You guys can really see. That's awesome. Got that nice curve to it. Ready so for hold, the, hold the it up to your arm. Pretty good. Ha! So we'll do the uh, the line here. Okay. We'll cut all that out. Cool. And what's cool about this is you can still lay it flat and it'll pop back up. So we'll lay it flat, cut oh. all that out. Almost got it. <laughs> but you can see how. Uh, I mangled that, but we'll sand it off. Now they're, they're where those two pieces met, mm, there's no seam. I see that. Nice and clean. All right, your turn. Is this the right way? Nope. <laughs> see, I told you. <laughs> you know, you can laugh at me all you want, but okay. Okay, so it, what's the deal with this one? Do I want to leave yeah, it flat too? more flat. Is better. More flat, yeah. like this is good? Yep, you got it. Okay, so get it and then... Then draw it nice and clean through there. Huh? Just about. Give it another run. Yeah, I'll give it another run. Another run. Okay. Wow. Aha! All right. I'm impressed with your knife skills. And that is kind of mangled, but like hey, it's organic. We'll go clean it up on the on the, uh, the thing. That's so cool. There. <laughs> 
I'm already like way impressed. So uh, yeah, next step we'll go to the sander, the de death defying sander over there and <laughs> clean up our work. Get rid of some fingerprints. Wonderful. <laughs> Yep. Doing awesome. Okay. And then kind of turn it a little bit. Turn the uh, piece. Oh, like that. Yeah. Yay! Cool. We made a lot of progress over by the sander. We did. That was fun. Yes. Uh, you did a whole bunch of cool stuff. Cleaned up the edges. I beveled them a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we used the rotary tool. That was fun too. It looks like a dentist tool from hell. Kinda. That's right. <laughs> a very, very souped up dentist tool. Actually, they're really the same thing. Let's yeah, be let's be honest. Uh, and then how about the, the, the wood grain? Then? That is amazing too. That was really fun. I think that's been my favorite part so far, actually. Excellent. Yeah. So that was just the edge of that tool there. So now we're about ready to paint it to finish that up. But um, I realized that we have to put, we have to have a way for the straps to go on there. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna put them in there, but I forgot. So we've got a little piece, little piece of foam, <laughs> and these uh, screws are gonna get glued into that. Do this, right? Uh, no, flip it around. Flip it this way. Sharp side, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty common theme today. Uh, I told you I'm not allowed sharp objects. Just no, using I... the dull side of everything. No, I said I'm. Uh, this looks easy. Ah, there we go. I did that. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yay! Now that goes in there. Okay. There's no sharp side on this, nope. right? I can just put this one in there. Oh, God. Woohoo! Perfect. Is that, is, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Like so? Okay. And then... Scoop it all up? Like so. Cool. So there you go. Why don't you crank out those, uh, those spots there, and I'll do these. Okay. With another brush. Whoa. Multitasking! There. All right, so now we just wait five minutes and stick those down. All right! And then we can throw on some paint. Uh, the glue is good to go, and all I have to do is stick them down. All right. So we have that dot that I made, and it just sticks down. And you'll get a real good feel for how well this stuff works. Okay, touch the wrong thing. Okay. How, how well the uh, uh. objects might work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Okay, cool, that's good. And just press it down, and then just try and pull it back off. Just, just oh, try. holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, wow, it's you're not bonkers. kidding. That's awesome. The next thing we want to do is paint it. So we're just going to lay down a base coat of uh, just a brown, and then we'll let it dry, and then we'll do a couple more washes of color on top of it. We'll attach the leather straps, and it'll be done. Ah! Yeah, I'm so excited. All right, you got a, a giant brush there, I got a giant brush, and we're just gonna cover this thing. All right. Um, that can go between this there. I, usually when I'm painting stuff or mm -hmm. people are asking me like what the, the technique you use, I advocate doing lots of different layers of color. Mm -hmm. uh, there's hardly anything in the world is ever one color. Oh, we're getting in the middle too. Okay. Yeah. We'll do that. Well, I know that, this will get painted as right, right. too, but might as well base coat everything in this brown. There nice. we go. Brown. Woo! We have it. So uh, we'll do the other side. <laughs> Uh, off camera and everything, I think, just for time's sake. Sure. Uh, but we'll come back and do the rest of the colors in a little bit. We're gonna, I'm gonna go put this out in the sun so it dries. Okay. Okay. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Look at this. Oh, that is so cool. We left this out to dry and we had lunch, but now we're ready to finish it. Oh, I'm so full. That was delicious. So uh, just a little bit of work left to do on this. Um, the the reference art that we have, the low poly reference art uh, <laughs> shows the top is kind of lighter and mm -hmm. we'll just add some some uh, some like wood grain looking texture cool. to that, which is a little bit of paint so we'll crank through that real fast all right this one is really crusty I keep, so I'll keep some of these for doing because we're not before we were covering it now right. we just want to add a little bit of okay so that's like a special brush for special occasions or something right Got it's it. just a brush I didn't want. It is the brush. Oh, come <laughs> on. I'm trying to make it sound like awesome, and you're like, nah. Right. So, uh, almost the brush is almost completely dry. Okay. And if I just start hitting the edges, uh, you can see it adds just like some nice texture to it, especially along the edges. We'll go back over and add more on the top. 
Okay. But this is literally all we're doing, so give it a try. Okay. Do I need more paint or are we no, good? No, just keep going. And try and hit the edges. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah? That's really all it is. Oh. Okay. This is like what you would call just a little bit heavy handed, but this is kind of like dry brushing. Got it. So you just have you have a little bit like that. And we're just trying to hit the highlights, but also adding more like just streaks and lines. No, that's the texture. I see it. Also think too, if you're gonna go like with the wood grain, that's mostly up and down. Okay. Cause uh, that's kind of the bark texture that we had. Okay, that makes sense. So you sense. could even just do, here I'll, yeah. I'll show you. Just going up and down this way, like that. Okay. So just go up there and do the same thing. Got it. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Yeah. Every prop That's maker good. needs a crusty brush in their I inventory. Have many crusty brushes. And this uh, isn't. This is actually pretty close to the, mm -hmm. the, the base coat. It's not showing up really well. So maybe I just add a little black. And I'm, I'm not aiming for the edges on this. I'm just going okay. up for the surfaces. So there you go. All right. So no edges. Yeah. Cool. There we go. And then you can just <laughs> look at it, step away from it, and see how you feel. Come back to it. Um, and I think the last thing we want to do for the, the, the wood paint anyway mm -hmm. is to, yeah, we're getting some nice texture out there, is the top and bottom are clearly lighter in the, mm -hmm. in the game art. So we'll, we'll just hit those really heavy with like a more of a yellowy, lighter color. Oh, that's so, so cool! I get yeah. the whole layers thing now. I get it. It makes sense. We can always add more if we want to. So we'll just take a fairly dry brush and really do just like the top, like that. I'll do the top here, and you can do the bottom. Very good. Thank you. You're getting it. You're getting it. Thank you. So when I when you're you're going too, just think uh -huh. every stroke you start here, and then just sort of flip it up, kind of flip it out at the end, and that that'll cause more of a gradient. Techniques, friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. So all we have to do is fill in that inside with color. I think I'll start with this. We were okay. thinking what was kind of like a reddish, orange. It's like a reddish, orangish. Faded than I wanted, but we'll we'll put this on as like a base coat. And okay. We, we may go over it. So you just get, grab a little paint. All right. And then you were just filling that in. Let's do it. Just try not, to, when you're grabbing paint, uh -huh. try not to drip it. I, ju I just oh, found okay. myself bringing it over the thing and thinking like, ah, oh, I don't want to drip it. <laughs> okay, I think that's a, a good first layer. We may go in and tweak the color a little needs bit. To be a little, yeah, it needs to be a little more red. A little more red. We'll let that dry. We can put the straps on. Okay. All right. Cool. Which we planned for. Let's get this out of the way so that we don't put our elbows into it. <laughs> this is the last thing, and I've got a, a belt here. Ooh. And I'm thinking we can just use this, this as like a strap. Sure. It's like crafting. Yeah. Let me trim this a little bit. We have lots, like if I go to Goodwill and there's an actual leather belt for sale for like two bucks, I just buy it and I'll end up doing this to it. <laughs> That'd be an interesting uh, thing to Not teach people. That's okay. So if you put your hand down there, like you were going to hold this, mm -hmm. um, go for it. So your hand, open your palm right there. Oh. Like that. Mm -hmm. Open palm. There you go. That's where you're going to hold on to that. Mm. So is that enough room you think? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So I will say a dot there and a dot here because we have to drill holes to do that. And then I'll trim and just cut this the length. So I'm okay. doing this one, just FYI, you're doing the next one. Oh, oh, okay. I was going to say right. it's probably a good thing that, no, boy. There you go. So use those to just, <laughs> no, he says. use those to just kind of sort of round it, just put, cut a perfect round shape around there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't understand what you're asking of me. <laughs> I mean, that kind of Perfect. Works. Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're so supportive. There you go. Then now. just push just, okay. down. Okay. Just sort of wiggle it around a bit. Oh my gosh. You got it. Okay. All right. Perfect. Yay. 
Yay! Now these should slide right through like that. A lot easier on this one. Yay. And then those get screwed in. So give it a go. Just uh, to hand tighten those in, okay. and then we'll use this wrench to finish it. Uh, okay. I've built many bookshelves in my day. If I mean, I mean like the one. So, not. Ah! There's one. This is some high level stuff right here. This is high level stuff, okay, friends. This isn't as easy as it looks. Yeah, and then this, this will tighten it down a little bit more. But again, probably not necessary. I tend to over engineer things. No, that, that's a good thing. Yeah. Ta-da! Yay! Slide your arm in. Do 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 do! Yay! <laughs> that is so cool. That's pretty great. That's awesome. Yes. I don't have a shield, but we have a shield. Where is it? Hold I on. need Goma. Give me a spider. Oh. I got a shield. I think mine's way better. There. Uh, I mean, a little more different paint. Uh, mix it up a bit, but it's that is essentially done. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, and you did at least 20% of the work. Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> I like this kid. You should subscribe to his channel. Yeah. <laughs> but you learned a lot? I learned a lot, and I was telling you that it's really fascinating because I see finished products, and as someone who's never made anything in their life in terms of props, I don't know how they all got put together. Mm -hmm. But this has really opened my eyes, and yes. it's, I've learned that it is accessible and that most anyone can do these things. It's just a... A, a, a matter of learning the technique and yes, the skills. Yes, taking those first steps. I mean, would you agree with that? Is yeah. That, okay. Would you? And if you had to make something similar, um, and I wasn't here, you feel a little more confident trying it yeah. out. Yeah. All right. I do. No, totally. I think Good. I would know. Like maybe I get like one or two phone calls. Oh. Uh, <laughs> more than that, I'd be like at your house because I know where you live now. But this is so cool. Pretty great. Awesome. Well, hopefully <laughs> you guys enjoyed this foray, and and I, I really like the chance to show off a, a beginner diving into the craft and learning a little bit yes. uh, along the way. Hopefully we've inspired you to uh, do some crafting yourself and maybe a little bit of cosplay. Yes. Uh, you'll be shooting, since you're here, shooting the video for your channel. I will. You can find that at youtube.com slash blonde nerd and there'll be a fun behind the scenes sneak peek of all the fluff of me messing things up. I'm Very just, good. Yeah, it's good. It, this, is, this is so cool. I can't stop smiling. Awesome. All right, ah, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Go uh, subscribe to Brittany's YouTube channel Yay. for lots of video game stuff. Uh, you'll have a video uh, for some other shenanigans that are happening today. Many It'll be a good time. Oh, yeah. Uh, until next time, then, I guess. We'll see you guys all next week. And uh, don't be afraid to try. Thank you so much. Bye. All right. This Bye. is... Dude. And then... Oh, you know what? We harvested part of that <laughs> for, for a costume. Okay. I didn't want to look stupid. <laughs> I'm like, I know what to do with this. I'll just kind of... Okay, good. Was it me? Um, we, I think we have another one. Okay. <laughs> How pathetic is this? This is what I have of red. <laughs> we'll make it work. That's all I have left of red, but I've got some uh, burnt sienna. No. This one is very poop consistency. I don't know why. You know, I thought for the last time we poured it, but I didn't say anything. Yeah. Because I bet if you I, watch my face as you poured that, I you'll think notice. It every time I use that paint, this is kind of poopy. <laughs>